Hey, Craig Valentine here, author of Unstoppable, and I have a really important lesson for you about getting more done so that you have more success and less stress. And it goes like this. You need to do this thing, this one thing at the end of your day. So usually when I teach people the perfect week formula, I say there's a cutoff time in your day. And in that cutoff time, you're gonna do three things. When you do these three things, they will help make every single next day a perfect day because you start today the night before. If you're doing your to-do list in the morning, you're making a big mistake, okay? It's too late. You're losing out on the willpower, discipline, and intention when you have first thing in the morning. So what I want you to do is at the end of your day, you're gonna do this cutoff thing of three things. The first thing you're gonna do is a brain dump. You're gonna get all the stuff out of your head. All right, all the thoughts, all the errands you have to run, all the people you have to contact, all that stuff that's driving you freaking crazy, you're gonna get out of your head. It's like as if somebody had taken one of those old school jigsaw puzzle boxes, right, and poured all the pieces into your head and it's all cluttered up in there. It's a giant mess or a giant uh, thing of Legos and they just poured it all into your head. So getting everything out of your head is the first step. So now you feel loose, are you okay, all right, good. Now, what do I do with all these Lego pieces and jigsaw puzzle pieces spread out all over the floor or on the table? Is we start to put them together and we create the priority to-do list. So if you wrote down 21 things in your brain dump that you have to do tomorrow, listen, we got to organize them. We got to put them in order in what I call the priority to-do list order. When you have your top one, two, and three things, and yeah, you have your errands off to the side, like you have to get milk, but hey, listen, what do you have to do first thing in the morning when you know that you are so far ahead of the game. And remember, we're doing this at night, so the next morning, you dominate your day. And there's one last thing that if you do this, you'll get exponential results, and I call it process planning. Process planning, you make the path smoother. So for me, as a writer, if I wake up in the morning and I know that I'm supposed to go and write chapter two, and that's number one on my to-do list, and I open up my computer and there's a blank screen there, I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna go, I've got writer's block, and I'm gonna sit there. But if I do process planning, if I make the path smoother, everything's easier the next morning. Now here's how process planning works for me. If I have to write 1500 words for chapter two, I come up with one, two, three, four, five bullet points. All of these things have to be covered in the chapter. Now I only have to write 300 words for five bullet points and I get it done so fast. So if you wanna exercise first thing in the morning, lay your exercise clothes out beside the bed. If you wanna work on your sales presentation, have it set out so that you can do it in the morning. If you wanna spend more time in Bible study, then have your Bible open to the reading that you wanna do. It's that simple. The process planning combined with the priority to-do list and the brain dump, man, you're gonna dominate every morning and that's gonna make you unstoppable in business and in life, all right? So I wanna hear how this has been helpful for you, all right? So send me an email, drop me a comment, whatever it is, let me know how this is helping so that we can make you unstoppable in every area of life.